I got a bag full of hay to show you. Trying to run from the fate that calls you. Lighting a candle for Satan. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Luis and this is Survival Check. Today's video will be on Rhino's Rescue Tactical Trauma Kit C with 17 pieces in it. I already took the liberty to open it up, so let's go ahead and pull out the items. This kit contains 17 pieces. I only opened the bag, but I have not seen what's in it. So this is the way it comes packaged. Really nice with the Rhino Rescue logo right there. Here on my side, I got medical pouches that I got from Timu. These I got from eBay. Before I go ahead and open this kit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happened to me this past week while I was on vacation. This strap right here kind of tore off. As I, I was in need of something that was inside of this medic kit while I was in vacation, I was trying to pull this pouch away from my backpack. And what I do, I look through the straps on both on the backpack and on the pouch itself. And I did too many loops all the way down. That way it was sturdy just in case there was any issues and it came off. And while I was pulling it, it was so hard to take it off that this kind of well, tore off basically because it wasn't fully stitched i did went ahead and look at a similar one now mind you these i got them from ebay and the, what i noticed is the stitches on the webbings are really good it's double stitches really sturdy stitches so there's no issue with that the issue i found is on these straps right here from the back that will loop on the inside they only stitch once on both sides of this layer right here where these straps go in so an easy fix for this would be if you have a sewing machine you could just sew through it sew on it make another layer to it makes it sturdier or simply do it by hand so that's what i will be doing i have a sewing machine so i'm gonna sew right through it and make sure these are stronger i did not check that on this this is the one i got from timu they're very inexpensive they feel similar quality they feel strong sturdy mind you for me to tear this i pulled it really hard it wasn't coming off so i was i was yanking on it and that's what I end up costing so it is fixable in a way but it won't be a reliable pouch so I am getting rid of it and just get another one since I do own several so this pouch is really nice it opens up all the way it has this red strap right here that you could close if you wanted to outside for an easy access you can leave it out here and in any extra emergency where you need it and want to use this fast you just pull on it okay well it's not on anything so you will just pull it like that and it will instantly open up it comes with two pouches on one side and one strap on the other for easy access which i'm gonna see if i could fit all this in here which might not be the case since this is a small bag considered to this one as y'all can see i could fit a lot of things in here so i will be switching these to here if this doesn't fit here which i'm assuming it probably won't i'll just transfer to this one it's still good as long as i don't yank on it like i did with this one i'll probably be fine let me go ahead and open this one up see what rhino rescue has to offer so first right off is the combat tape rhino rescue combat tape this is a emergency bandage the size of this is the six inch one comes with a pictogram makes it easier for you to use it's nice labeling I like the way they label the stuff looks quality made to me this is another emergency bandage this is a four inch emergency bandage here we have a combat cravat i don't know how do you how do you pronounce that combat cravat i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it guys comes with a eye shield a pair of latex free powder free gloves tiny bag I'll be adding more to it. Comes with lubricant jelly for this nasal airway. Compressed gauze. The Rhino Rescue Shears. First aid scissors. Know that it has a loop right here that you can just loop anywhere. I think pretty good quality. Got their logo right there. The elastic bandage 
Emergency blankets. I'm really not a fan of emergency blankets. Yes, you can use them for a lot of things, but I feel these tear really easily no matter what brand you get. I do own some that I got from Walmart. They are way thicker. I haven't gotten that out the box, but it's a way thicker material for sure. Last, it is way heavier too. I will take it out the box. I have it on my tactical bag that I used for the range and uh, I will be adding it to one of my bags. I'm not sure to which. I have updated my bug out bags and they're a little bit heavy and full of things already. Comes with a splint. Love that it's green. I believe on the website their picture was uh, orange. I prefer the green one. And the size of this is 18 inches. Comes with its tourniquet. Love the pouch for the tourniquet. Love the logo right here. The patch. Love the patch right here on the side. Love the coloring. I kind of end up loving their black and brown, khaki brown logo type. Looks really nice. Comes with its marker right here already on the side. Love the setup. Their tourniquet is pretty nice in appearance. I believe they do work as intended. I do understand there's some people that don't want to buy stuff that is not made in the U.S. Most of our products are not made in the U.S. So. This is still really good quality. I will trust my life with this. One thing a tourniquet is really good, useful, that a lot of people don't think, oh, um, they usually think this are for people getting shot in the arm, shot in the legs. That's not really the case. You could be out at the beach and get bitten by a shark and your legs bleeding, your arms bleeding. You could easily use a tourniquet to help with that bleeding. Also, you could end up falling from your own bike, exercising, tripping uh, while running. Any kind of exercise where you break an arm and a bone is sticking out and you're losing blood tourniquet is really good for that it could be your, your arms legs of course not your neck but tourniquet is useful for a lot of situations that could rise unexpectedly now last but not least i believe it's this chest seals pair for multiple entrance front and back and it also comes with this manual which i was assuming it didn't but i'm glad it did the first aid manual emergency preparedness for any disaster booklet it comes with a rhino rescue t triple c card in case you need to jot down any information for the first responder mind you most of this if you're using this for preparedness or survival nobody is gonna read this but your own so you gotta practice practice what you preach you gotta use your equipment you gotta learn how to use it because in any real emergency scenario where there's no ems emergency services nobody's gonna help you out so try to practice some safety and get ahead of the curve love that it comes with everything right here all of this you could actually practice i would use since like i own some timu tourniquets which i already used and i have two that i would be using as practice for my wife and kids teach them how to use it although kids their arms or legs these tourniquets are usually not meant for them there are other ways to uh use something for them but i still teach them how to use these and teach my wife and i will use those that i already used on a previous video that way you won't wear out a good one and have your good ones ready to go now all this definitely not fitting on this so this would be for a smaller purpose love the bag these are very inexpensive i'll leave links to these on the video description below i don't have links to this since i ordered these from ebay a long time ago they were way cheaper back then i know right now they go between 15 all the way to 30 some these by themselves depending if they're branded or not branded these are not branded these are not branded but these are fairly inexpensive i believe these go around five dollars six dollars i don't know cheaper than what you would find them in the u.s they are smaller these i would recommend to use on your tactical vest since they are smaller and these are probably meant for a tactical vest but in any situation you can use it for your backpack tactical backpack i would use it for my tactical vest uh battle belt and so on and so forth so this kit for sure i'm gonna put it in this one of these ones this medical pouch the only thing i don't like about this medical pouch is these uh, bungee straps right here elastic straps because it doesn't open all the ways if you have stuff here it's just bringing it back together but other than that it's still a good safety pouch so the way i'm gonna set up this medical pouch is the way it comes so it has this pouch right here elastics right here that's the way it is so for sure put the rhino rescue splint first then i'll put the chest vents chest seals right there so i'm gonna add this to it like that put it in between both the splint and the chest seals now i have the option to add either the emergency blanket but i'm gonna go ahead first with the bandages and see what i can do with them in case you already see the, the products Giving you guys 
guys a look how how they look close up. The eye shield. The nasal airway with the cream. The shears, scissors. Press gauze. And I guess this is just like some sort of rag. Alright guys, so let's get back to the topic. And put in the bandages right behind these straps. So I repeat, this is the Rhino Rescues Tactical Trauma Kit C that includes 17 pieces of items. We'll go ahead and add these also here. Emergency blanket right in the front. Put this one there. And press the up right on top. You gotta keep keep reminder where everything goes. That way in case of emergency, you don't need it. Easy access for it. See if this close closest. Nope. So what I will be doing is this bandage is not gonna fit there. You can always manage shape it even if it's compressed. To make it work. So right there it closes. So now I got the sides. make it work this one's kind of flat so go in the middle shears I'm gonna put them in the outside with the logo sticking out where's the right there glows right on top because it's one of the first things you're gonna use this eye patch or shoe which is made out of some type, some type of aluminum that I'll put right here right behind I don't know if it will damage it or not this one I don't want it falling off so I'm going to put it on one of the sides right here next to the chest seals and everything else now we have this bandage which I don't know if it would fit and the nasal way, airway, which I could do one side. One side I could add the bandage. There we go. This probably on top. The nasal way on one side. Hmm. There we go, and it actually fit. It was stuck with the strap right there, so I pushed it out. Pushed out the pouch a little bit, make it expand. Now the only thing that did not fit in there, of course, besides the shears, is the tourniquet. Right there, this tourniquet is nice. That logo. Love how it comes with its marker, some sort of marker, tiny marker. Hopefully, it doesn't dry out under heat, depending on the temperature. This would be one of my main go bags. I will probably switch it out for this one, but I do have another pouch where I'm gonna put all this, replace it, make sure it's working. For this one, but okay, comes out like that. I was assuming it didn't. Just put it on there and loop it back in. Oh, that's not bad. Instead of Velcro, you just hook and loop, which is not bad because you won't make noise with uh, Velcro in any incognito moment that you actually need it to. Love their product. Love how it comes packaged. 
all professional and nice. We'll not test their product until it actually is necessary, unless they want to send me some for trial and error. Other than that, these are considered good product in my opinion, and I would have these for real emergency uses, as so as this one, but this one is packaged different. So this is a trauma kit. Would not fit in one of these for sure. This is a smaller one. It does have the option to add a tourniquet right here with a, a pouch for it. Which is a way smaller pouch than this one as y'all can tell. But it will still fit one. I do have one inside. Don't have it at hand to show you guys. But that will be another video if y'all request it. For now guys that will be it. If y'all like the video please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned. Peace.